Yo, yo, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Uh, today is Tuesday, the 18th of June, and let's get into the content, into the markets to see what did they prepare for us. So yesterday we mentioned this big bad pattern right there. I did not take it because of the uh, uh, difference in the time, time taking, as you can see. Since then, we've been just moving sideways. We did make a few lower, low, lower closes. As you can see right there, lower, 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 close, lower, 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 close. Uh, and the price action is looking like uh, making a stall and making a hold at this structure level right there. However, uh, let, let's see, yeah. If we do not test any significant levels here, I think that our price action will drop down eventually. And I do hope for all of you that took trades, but you never know what's gonna happen. It can also be a flag pattern, like high and tight flag pattern, and it can just explode to the upside. We will definitely see. Uh, besides this, I don't see anything else on this pair as well. Aussie cat uh, just rolling over slowly, rolling over, making new lows, new lows, new lows. Uh, I'm considering this being in a downtrend uh, on our one. Now, I don't see anything in terms of just about anything for me because I, you know, I backtested uh, harmonic patterns and I did not backtest the trend strategy still, so nothing for me here. Aussie USD also rolling over slowly, dropping down. L as well, I don't see anything. It's I'm considering it a bearish trend on our one as you can see we were moving quite bearish for quite some time right now it pisses me off that i took a short position right there at the top of this uh it was a gartley pattern this and then i got stopped out and since that point uh price action just continued moving down look it stopped me out for 20 something pips uh two fridays ago and since then we've moved down in into my direction 460 pips Euro dollar trade since last week. This is how it looks like. And, uh, I'm up 100 pips right now. And this was uh, last Friday. This big bearish candle was last Friday. Yesterday we have a pushback. Sellers showed up and pushed the price down. Right now we are moving into a bull side slowly on our one. We will see what's going to happen, but I'm not touching that trade. I do hope we will roll over, make a new low and finally continue to at least hit my target one so that I can move my stop losses to break even. We did made, yeah, some money on a swap, but you know, I'd rather have both of my targets hit. Uh, pound dollar, uh, there was a big bad pattern here. Uh, we were discussing yesterday as well and uh, they and on Friday, I believe, uh, this is the bad pattern. If you are trading it, it was out of my trading time. We did make a nice double bottom right there, and then we started pushing up. However, sellers showed up and pushed the price down, uh, stopping us for a stop loss for around, I don't know, maybe 50 or something. Yeah, 100 pips if you're trading two targets, 50 pips if you're trading just one. Since then, we are just, you know, continuing our movement into with the bearish, uh, with the bearish sign in mind and I don't see anything yeah maybe the price action is gonna gonna test this wick right there the lowest of the wick or just trying to test this this level right there so that's the only only thing I see right oh maybe there is this wick comes here yeah uh, maybe this level as well we will see what's gonna happen I do hope that finally at some point after half of the year we remove this big wick from the uh, January of 2019 it was January which is playing with us in uh, more than one pair and finally we have a pound yen pair which we took a cipher pattern uh, and uh, took a loss yesterday so this was the cipher and this is a cipher we took a loss we took a loss as you can see obviously and now the price action has been moving into in bearish direction as well making new low new low what is it to be expected i don't know actually uh i'm expecting some kind of a pullback into this kill zone here this would be a kill zone a new kill zone for me and then maybe get a lower low lower close candle and then short it again where can the price action go we are also trying to retest this as you can see we, we came to this level and made it we closed below an hour four on a daily we will see what's going to happen maybe we are retesting this lowest 
point of the book. We never know what's going to happen. I would like to see that so that we have some kind of a different structure point in the market besides this week. And guys, that's it for the morning session. That kind of sums it all up. Uh, if you like this kind of a content, please consider subscribing. Also on the screen right now, you see a link uh, for for the free bundle, the ebook, the backtesting sheet, and a video tutorials, and that I spent last few months uh, making, uh, where I share everything I wish I knew when I when I was first starting out, so that I don't blow a lot of money. Uh, and it's kind of a correct way. It's it's everything, everything that changed my way of trading and turned my trading around. And I know that you might say, okay, man, but you're in the drawdown, which is, which is true, but it is what it is. You have to go through these drawdown periods to get out of them and get into the profitable periods of your trading system. Just having this in mind and bearing it and whole, you know, having a, a strong mind to taking the trades and sticking to your trading plan even if your drawdown is something that I was not able to do before I share all of that in the ebook so please click the, cl uh, the link in the description or in the comments please paste the, that link in the browser uh, check it out put your details in and I hope to see you in our community in the telegram thank you and see you soon in the afternoon session bye bye Yo, 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 welcome back guys to the afternoon session. So as you can see, this is what we had. Actually, this is the USD CAD bad pattern that we've been eyeing for quite a while right now. And if you're in it, congrats. From the looks of it, it started dropping down. We see this big, two big engulf bearish engulfing candles. And in my opinion, there is a high chance of it coming to head your targets one and maybe targets you eventually so we will see what's going to happen with this one for your more aussie cad nothing for us uh there might be a cipher if you're trading cipher on this pair and this might be the no 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 cipher for us as well so i don't see anything worthwhile uh, on this pair for me oh but i have an idea so if you're trading trend strategies we are actually making new lows new low pullback new low right now we are making a pullback into that kill zone so what i'd do is i would check the atr on the strategy that i'm t uh, tr testing right now on the pairs that i'm testing it's around 12 pips go 12 pips above this high which would give me what uh yeah so roughly here yeah two pips more and then i would i would mark that level up right like this let me just double check everything yeah so let's move it down a little bit so that would be 12 pips yes yeah uh and then let's say 14 pips and then i would place my stop loss actually move to down 27 yeah there we go 12 pips and then i would wait for a price action to come like this above the 50 level and wait for a lower low lower close candle uh which would close above the 50 level and that would be my entry signal then i would go short and i would place my targets at uh this low retest of lows and my stop loss at this level and then then that in that case i would know that i have a higher risk to reward ratio a higher win to uh, risk ratio a higher yeah po a potential win than a potential risk uh ratio and i would take a short position if that happens okay so uh, but um, i didn't back test it on you know, this pair so i'll just keep it all usd since this since that gartley that i lost we're also moving to the bearish side also we are finding ourselves the price action is uh pushing up into that kill zone so if we get a lower low lower close and if you back tested it and if you, if you don't find this as a pullback then uh you're waiting the price action in this zone get a lower low lower close play to uh, play a retest until uh this slows right there euro dollar the saga continues so what we got here is a big as bearish engulfing candle so price action violated this critical point that i was hoping that it will get out uh, that will get violated and then we got a indecision candle this green indecision candle right there and now uh, the price action is printing we have two more hours to see what what kind of candle is this gonna be on hour four i hope it will be lower low lower close which would signal me in my opinion that the price action might move lower and might get us closer like we are 50 something pips away 
for initial targets and then I can move my stop losses to break even. On hour one, we got indecision, uh, indecision, indecision, and this candle might get us a lower, low, lower close, but we will see. We still have like 10 minutes to go. Uh, then pound dollar, pound dollar, what, what we got here on uh, hour four has been a bearish move all, all together. Let's just double check. Yeah, Be bearish move all together. And, uh, I got nothing here, nothing here, basically, besides that big bad pattern that we took a loss. Uh, and then I didn't take it. I didn't take it. But if you did, you might you already be stopped out, I think. Now, this is daily uh, what I'm talking about. So, yeah, actually, you can take a look on a daily. So we have a bad pattern completion exactly where the price action has arrived today. But what I was where I took a loss was a pound yen, not a pound dollar. So I apologize for this. Uh, what I see here is just, you know, nothing, nothing. Yeah, maybe some kind of a we are overbought oversold pardon. And there is a bad pattern completion on a daily if you're trading this. So yeah, I don't know. Depends when you're trading. There is a possibility of price action finding some kind of a support here and rallying up. We will see what's going to happen. Pound yen, nothing much. Nothing much, but my friend, we did get on a, a day trading time frames. We did get a flag pattern like this. This was a, today's flag pattern, which actually won for 30 pips. I'm still didn't backtest this. This was a flag pattern. One touch, second touch, third touch, four touch entry here, and then extension here would get you like 30 something pips. I still didn't backtest this, so I cannot uh, form an analysis of it. But I keep following this um, this entries and this kind of stuff because this is a plan for me to backtest in the near future. And with that being said, this kind of wraps up my daily market analysis morning and afternoon session. Uh, if you like this kind of a content, make sure to smash that like button, you know, click the subscribe button, smash the bell button, share a video, leave a comment below and hope to see you in the next one. Thank you and speak to you soon. Bye bye.